Welcome back everyone. Hope you all had a good Christmas and a good New Year. Today we're going to be covering the Oscar cichlid. So let's get into it. Right, welcome back to another one. And today we're going over the Oscar cichlid. So one of the main things I see with the Oscar cichlid is the way it's probably missold in the hobby. It's probably one of the most abused um, cichlids in the hobby I'd say um, mainly because it's a very attractive fish when you're in the fish shops and stores and it's very easy for people to pick these up not reading too much into them so um, they do find themselves uh, sometimes getting into the wrong hands or ending up in tanks that are not suitable for them uh, just due to their friendly nature really um, they are the first fish up to the glass when you go in the fish shops and um, as nice as that is, um, it does attract people to buy them um, that might not have the setup and it's quite adequate. So originating from South America, this is one of the most popular cichlids in the hobby. Um, living between 10 to 20 years is quite a commitment when you decide um, to go ahead and get an Oscar or get a couple of Oscars. One of the main things you really need to bear in mind is um, these fish do grow pretty large. Um, I think average sort of size is um, around 12 inches fully grown, but there's many that, that exceed or get to around 15 inches. So that is definitely something to bear in mind. And one of the main reasons why you see these fish being constantly rehomed um, on selling pages, because you know that 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 is part of the the abuse they see they, they get put in a 200 litre tank and within no time at all they can barely move um, and then you see them up for sale or people just trying to get rid of them so they hop from tank to tank to tank and it would just be nice if there was a bit more information out there so people would um, choose a bit more carefully and and the fish could live its life in one tank you know and not have to constantly be moved around so you can get so many different variations um, of the Oscar. You can get uh, the, the tiger variant, which are the stripy ones, uh, plain reds, albinos, and now there's even chili reds, um, and all sorts of different um, types of Oscar on the market. Um, it, it's endless now. It used to just be, you know, your reds and your tigers, but now there's variants. There's so much variation. Um, so if you're trying to match a certain color scheme in your tank even you can get lemon oscars which is sort of your yellow tiger variants um yeah it's just endless so really they like a ph of around six to eight but like any species um it's more important to have a stable ph than it is to have the perfect ph um it'd be much rather it was slightly on the high side and always like it than being six one day eight the next you know that sort of thing so yeah uh, generally especially in the uk tap water with conditioner is generally more than okay um as long as it's stable and it doesn't fluctuate too much um, but that goes with any fish the oscar's no different and as it comes to this fish's attitude as such um they're they're classed as semi-aggressive but that can vary a lot like it can with any fish I think in on average, yes, I would agree. Um, Semi-aggressive is where I would put them. Um, they do really well with all other cichlids, really. Um, other large cichlids and slightly smaller ones, nothing too small because um, we'll move on to diet in a minute, but yeah, they do tend to swallow things. They can fit in their mouth and they're really greedy. So you can think, oh, I fed them enough. Um, to stop them doing anything like that, but they can be super greedy and uh, Yeah, they can end up swallowing some smaller fish, but in general, they're pretty good So moving on to diet for these guys um, They are omnivores. They will eat pretty much anything you put in the tank But I would recommend uh, a solid good quality based pellet as their main their main food source obviously you can supplement that with um, bloodworm or whatever else they like prawns um, anything like that but just bear in mind 
you give them too many treats, um, they might end up getting hooked on them and then they will be a little bit more reluctant to take um, the pellet. So yeah, just be a little bit careful with that and that applies for any fish really. Um, don't give them too many treats because then they won't eat, uh, eat your pellet foods and the things you want to feed them most of the time. So there is no um, main difference between male and female with the Oscar cichlid. Um, they are generally, they look identical uh, really, um, even into adulthood. Um, the main way to tell is obviously by venting, with the male having a small um, circular anus with a point and the female having the same but with more of a U shape on her second one. So this is what you would be looking out for if you were to look at the underside of your Oscar. Um, obviously you don't want to cause any undue stress to your fish so I would generally only have a quick look if you're moving the fish from tank to tank or or something like that I wouldn't capture them just to see if they're male or female um, it's just something you could have a quick look at if you've got them in the net it's also very hard to determine um, what you can see in the image there until the fish is a good three to four inches long I would say um, because enough, younger than that, they haven't developed enough for you to be able to really tell. It will just look like two, two dots, basically, um, and it can be very hard to tell. But as I say, um, use extreme caution. Um, the fish shouldn't be out of the water, really. But if you are moving them and you did want to know, then that's something you can use as a guide. But obviously, it's only a guide. The only true way to know is when they hopefully pair up. So moving on to tank size uh, for these fellas. Basically, um, I would recommend if you were just gonna keep one, and maybe a 250 litre tank um, would be okay. Uh, bearing in mind the size they get to, they need space to move. I've got two here in my um, 750 litre, um, but they are with other fish as well. If it was only Oscars in here, then I might put say five maybe um, but you want your fish to have room you know you don't want it to be cramped in there and be struggling for space so yeah just bear that in mind with, with tank size I wouldn't ever go nothing smaller than um, 250-300 litres and consider Oscars at all um, so if it's something you're really desperate to keep then maybe just you know wait that little bit longer save a little bit more money maybe um, and try to get you know the adequate size tank that they require rather than sort of rushing into it and then having to wave goodbye to your fish after a year when he hits 10 inches so yeah just to stop that from happening um just take your time find the right tank and find the right fish it's, it's no hurry um you know they live 10 to 20 years so it's definitely no hurry getting the right fish and the right setup so just take your time and uh and get it right the first time so i think i've pretty much covered everything there. Um, lastly, I just wanna make a quick mention on hole in the head. Um, it's a nasty disease that Oscars are very, very prone to getting. Um, and it, it will kill them if you don't do something about it. But obviously the easiest way um, is to prevent it in the first place. And a lot of the time um, it does come with bad water quality, to be honest. So you know, regular water changes, you know, 50% per week. Um, even if you split it up into two water changes, you know, 25% twice a week or one large one, whatever works for you. But um, just try to keep your water quality as good as possible and a good quality pellet, a mixture of bits and bobs in their diet. Um, not the same thing all the time. And um, yeah, and hopefully you can keep keep it away. Um, I've had Oscars in the past when I was new to fish keeping. Um, one of them did get a hole in the head, um, and I did have to treat the um, treat the water with like an antibiotic for it, which you can get. Um, but still, the fish is left with um, nasty scars on its head generally. So it's something to be best avoided. And obviously, from all that time ago, I've learned. Um, and now I try to keep water quality as you know the absolute utmost um, importance, and you shouldn't have any problems with it. Some some people out there saying that um, activated carbon can cause it. Um, I can't obviously confirm that um, because 
that wasn't something that happened for me, but I do know other people who, who swear by um, not having activated carbon to stop things like holding the head from coming about. Why that would cause it, I really don't know, um, but someone out there someone out there might know, one of you might know um, why that can possibly affect it. But yeah, definitely with Oscars, keep the water quality as good as you can, um, and regular water changes are the heart of that. Um, with any fish you keep, um, they're living in their own feces, their own urine. So yes, you've got your bacteria in your filters doing a good job, but um, you doing your bit, you know, your water changes um, is really going to help, and it's going to stop you getting anything nasty like that that you've got to try to then deal with. Well, I think I've covered everything there anyway for Oscars. If anyone's got any questions, just ping them in the in the comment section below. Once again, I hope everyone had a great Christmas and uh, a good new year. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for all my subs. Thanks a lot.